All right. Um, top of the uh, afternoon, morning, night, blue moon. Um, I hate a blue moon. Blue moons, <clears throat> blue moons suck cock out of all. Um, cause it's like an IPA, but, but it's kind of like mass produced IPA because IPAs <clears throat> are already just the, uh, douchiest beverage, douchiest thing you can put in your mouth besides a penis. But, um, <laughs> but, um, um, well, I don't know what's worse, a locally made IPA or a mass, well, I guess on the coolness chart, the IPA that's mass produced would be less cool than the one that's locally fucking <clears throat> um, made. Um, so I don't know. Either way, they both suck cock. Oh, and if you drink IPAs, you should uh, go die somewhere. You should go die in a... Speaking of douchebag drinks, as I drink a, a LaCroix um, seltzer, I'm no uh, I'm no angel myself, folks. I'm just uh, I'm just a human like uh, like you and me. But um, yeah, never had a Blue Moon I liked. Um, they suck cock. I'd rather just have a cheap fucking cheap beer any cheap beer you name it miller light and then just fucking black out somewhere because <clears throat> you can't even drink you can't even drink like a whole bunch of ipas and that's what i'm in the game for that's why i drink is for um it's for quantity not for quality i'm more of a quantity guy myself but um yeah this is the um 69th episode of garden pals and um today when you're listening to this if you're listening to this the day of it is the third of november if you can uh, believe that or not um uh when i am whilst i am recording this here um cast it is <coughs> saturday October 30th, Halloween Eve. And speaking of this, the New York Times, they did, um, uh, what the fuck is it? Like a regional, the New York Times did a regional, regional, regional dialect kind of quiz where you fill out what you say, like potato bug, water fountain, or like, Shit like that, or like, um, just names that we have for things. And, um, there was one that said, What do you call the day before, um, Halloween? And here in Western New York, we have no, uh, no name for such a thing. But let me see the day before Halloween name, because if I'm not mistaken, there are a couple different names for these. Um, there was some crazy ones, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure it was called like, um, okay, what is the day before? Why? Okay. Devil's Night. Um, what do new? Um, yeah, Devil's Night. I guess there's a bunch of other fucking stupid ones, but either way, if you Google New York Times region regional quiz, regional dialect, regional accent quiz. How y'all use and you guys talk. That's what it's called by the New York Times. And you fill it out and whatever you, I did it. And it was pretty, pretty damn accurate. I, I, sorry folks. <clears throat> Taking a sip of my own. Um, placenta um no i did it i think i saw somebody post about it on twitter but then i did it and it was right on the damn nose with um my dialect my way of speaking um 
And I think I, I got like Western New York, um, a little bit of Rochester, and then there was some in the uh, greater uh, Michigan area. I don't know, Northern Peninsula area. I don't fucking remember. But either way, I thought that that was interesting. I am also very interested in uh, maps. I don't know why. I think I might be a little autistic in that sense. Might be a little bit of an autist. But um, yeah, today, <clears throat> Saturday, usually don't work on the weekends, but goddamn lovely uh, Puerto Rican boss, she, no, there was somebody who died in my manager's family or some bullshit. So they needed me to come in on my day off because somebody died. So I had to work 7 to 12, which is amongst all of the ether of shifts. That's probably one of the better shifts you can ever get. Uh, No break, none of that bullshit, just straight five hours there, here and gone. That's what I did. Um, but that completely fucked my Friday night and, uh, any social life that I'm trying to hang on to with all my, all my, um, lovely pals were hanging out last night and I was not able to attend and have a good time with them and <clears throat> get a load off, take a load off, spray a load off, but, um, because of work. There's a bird outside of my, there's a blue jay outside of my window. That was pretty cool. I feel like you don't fucking see blue jays too often. Go blue jays. Um, saw a robin yesterday. Those are probably more common than blue jays in my findings. Me as, this is Kyle the bird watcher speaking. But, yeah, so I didn't do shit last night. I'm a loser. I don't got any friends. Um, I had friends that were hanging out and I couldn't because I didn't want I don't know I was already pretty tired I went to bed at like seven seven o'clock probably and woke up at fucking 4 30 a.m feeling like a fucking champ ready to run up a fucking hill and um <clears throat> yeah it was just great I slept like a fucking whore in a church slept like a whore slept like a whore rock um but yeah so that's what happened, and then I fucking went my happy, uh, went, uh, took my happy fat ass to work, and there's already another girl there working 7 to 3 while I'm doing a fucking 7 to 12, so I don't even really need to be there, so it's fucking stupid. And, um, I did it anyways, because I'm a pussy, uh, and I'm scared of my elders, scared of daddy, but, um, <clears throat> yeah, so I did that. I did my shift. There was um, not many things going on. There was this old lady. She was probably like 60 years old, just had her fucking, had her tits hanging out. And um, just like kind of how the indie alternative girls do nowadays with um, just the t-shirt with no bra. So just full uh, nip circles uh, in view. And that's what she was doing, but she was about 60 years old. And, um, yeah, I love to see a whore of any kind, but an old whore, I feel like, is the rarest breed of all of the whore kingdom. <laughs> so that was that was um, quite magical for me to witness. And her husband was like a Harley, Harley douche. So they, I feel like, yeah, old... Um, Old saggy whores and Harley and Harley dudes, they got a tight bond in um, just in society. I feel like because you never see a Harley dude with a fucking well-off businesswoman, fucking lady, business cunt. Um, but yeah, so that was amazing. <clears throat> got to see some old sags, and then um, what else happened? Oh yeah, there was this. Uh, odd couple of the day, there was this um, young black fella, and he bad had a hair just like me, so I had a sympathy for him. And he 
was um definitely a gay fella, gay black fella with um bad head of hair. Um so it was him and then he was with a very so he was probably about 25, 26, 27 and he was with this old fucking <clears throat> old um old fat white bitch and um she had a cane and they were waiting to go down the elevator which is fine beautiful terrific and um i am at this time i <clears throat> was up on the floors i was doing a room check cuz people can how hotels do incidental holds they can do it in cash for $200. We hold $200 for the night. And then the morning after, they get the money back, but someone just has to check the room to make sure there's no smoking going on in the room, no no semen, no sex going on in the room. So I'd, I was up on the floor checking, and then I saw this odd couple, beautiful odd couple. <clears throat> She's standing, everything's fine. She's got a cane, pretty big, very big. And um, next thing you know, I see him walking through the hallway, and... On, uh, they're carrying a luggage cart, young uh, African American man, and um, and on the cart, who is it but the old fat white bitch? He's carrying her on a luggage cart, and then um, so just carting her fat ass around, and then um, he kind of dumped her off in front of the elevator. So this old um, old old bag, old fat bag, old um. Oh, fun bag. She's kind of just sitting in the lobby just on this uh, luggage cart. <clears throat> She's kind of garnering uh, some attention. People start to notice. Sort of a spectacle. <clears throat> in between a rock and a hard place she was. She was in between a um, fat and an ass place. And she was kind of just sitting there. And then all the managers and people walking by her are like, you fucking okay? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, you fucking fat bitch? What the hell's going on? What's shaking, bacon? And um, she's like, no, I'm fine. I'm just fat, so I'm just sitting here, I guess. But either way, uh, she was a nice lady. They were, all, they were both very nice. Her and her um, boyfriend, her and her black boyfriend, they were beautiful. I don't think he was fucking her because he seemed like he was, he was gay a little bit, a little bit of gay in him. But I, don't, I wouldn't put it past him if they were having sex. But either way... Wouldn't be my top search result on uh, Pornhub, but onward we go. Um, so that pretty much happened, and other than that, there really wasn't shit going on. So I kind of, because if you think about it, who the fuck wants to be in a hotel um, during a hollow weekend, Halloween weekend? Why would you want to be in some old, smelly, fucking bed bug and um, just bullshit? Why would you, you want to be with your friends? You want to go out. You want to drive drunk. You want to fucking kill a family of two. You want to fucking get into a drunk driving accident and kill a child's mother and fucking have fun and fucking go bob for apples and bob for uh, Neil and Bob. Um but yeah, why would you want to be in a hotel on any hol or on a, any hol holiday weekend? I was trying to search for the words in my mouth. Why would you want to be in a hotel during any holiday weekend? That just seems very silly to me. And a hotel is the last place I want to fucking be on any weekend. But there I was, my dumb fucking French ass fucking sitting behind the stupid fucking counter. And there really wasn't anybody. <clears throat> there was um, only like 40 arrivals, which is quite light for uh, any weekend. And um, tomorrow, Halloween, just a curious cat, I looked and there was only 11 arrivals for tomorrow. Further uh, further proving my, my thesis statement. <clears throat> but, yeah, so... Literally not, just a lot of leaning, just a lot of doing busy work, just doing shit, jerking off. And then there's this engineer at work, 
But uh, the engineers are just folks who unclog toilets. We know this already. We know this. But um, name's Tim. Very cool dude. He wears, or just a cool, funny guy. He, older white gentleman. He's probably not that old. He just looks like shit. Like I said, you you can't really date or age anybody at my job. It's just kind of like a, it's kind of a vortex. People come out and, and they don't look like themselves anymore. But um, Tim's a cool dude. He's probably about 38 if I had to gauge it. But that's like being generous because he's got the fucking um, bird's nest up top, the bald spot, and then he's just kind of got a saggy face. And, um, <clears throat> but yeah, a great dude, great hang. I haven't really worked with him that much, but hope I do in the future. He's a cool fella, but he wears, um, they're kind of like, uh, true religion jeans, but, um, they're just, they don't really have a brand on them. So he's just kind of, and he's got a limp too. So he's got fake true religion jeans on. He's got a nice limp to him. And he doesn't even wear, like, a name tag or, like, a hat or something. So he kind of just walks around and fixes shit. Just, like, a 38-year-old fucking um, kind of, like, white trash-looking dude. But hell of a time, like I said. <clears throat> and he's up at the front desk bitching to us about shit, talking about how he bought his wife a new 2017 Camry something like that some piece of shit vehicle some hoopty and he's he said he drives like uh like an 07 something which i don't think is true because every time i see him uh coming to work he's always getting dropped off so i see a little bit of a a plot hole in his story but either way so he's saying he's like oh yeah i'm so broke and shit like i don't got no monies I'm all broke and shit, and then, um, I don't know why I gave him a Mexican accent there, but either way, added, uh, flavor, um, he's saying how broke he is and shit, which is just kind of awkward, because he's like this 40-year-old dude, and we're just a bunch of pipsqueak kids, just like, yeah, like, that sucks, I guess, like, that's horrible, and then he's like, yeah, I, I had to buy my girl a car, and... I got a piece of shit car, and he's like, yeah, I'm, and I'm too old to be fucking renting. This is fucking bullshit, just bitching about his life here. Um, not the first person who's ever fucking sought out therapy from us uh, front desk people. <clears throat> we know this, but then he's like, yeah, by the time I fucking am able to get a mortgage or rent to buy my house, I'm going to be dead. Just super fucking, super pessimistic uh, vibes this morning. And then, um, <clears throat> reoccurring favorite character of the cast, Bob the Janitor comes up, and then we're talking about um, going on vacations and shit like that. And Bob's like, I want to get the fuck off this planet. How do I, I need to figure out how to get off this planet. And um, so I think Bob wants to kill himself, um, which isn't really surprising. I mean, he's he does own a house, so there's that. That's nice. He said he had a wife, but she, um, she divorced him. Uh, and I'm pretty sure he doesn't have any kids, but I'd be curious... Um, to ask him if he's had kids because um, he would probably have some fucking story about it. And he's always telling me how he likes fucking uh, watching porn and shit and all that, goofing around, roughhousing Bob the Janitor. But, um, yeah, he's just a fucking... I don't know if he meant, like, get off this planet, like, just because... The shit's crazy, or if he's trying to fucking hang himself up for the fucking, hang his jersey in the rafters or something at the fucking hotel. But, um, but yeah, so that's pretty much, uh, what happened today. Um, yeah, it was nice and quick, left work early again, but tomorrow is the big day. We know this. It's been coming for a while. It's been stroking for a while. Been simmering for a while. 
Got the Bills game. Bills versus the Dolphins. And, um, yep, uh, just excited, nervous, happy, sad. Um, <clears throat> it is, there's no way that it's not going to be a hoot. Um, the forecast, let me get a live forecast here. Weather for Orchard. Park, New York. Let's see what tomorrow is. Okay, it's 54 and it's got little rain. Jesus Christ. 54, 53, light rain. It says high of 54, low of 44 for tomorrow. And so assuming we get there around 10 o'clock in the morning, uh, 55% chance of precip. Oh, 10 mile an hour wind, 49 degrees. Holy shit. But then, hey, game time, 1 o'clock, 50 degrees, 13 mile an hour winds, and 22% chance of precipitation. So then, okay, so we're going to get some rain in the morning, then it's going to level off. So I'm going to be getting drunk in the parking lot, soaking wet. Um, definitely gonna have to get a poncho. So I think, um, I think dressing up for any kind of, uh, any kind of Halloween costume is completely out of the question here. That just doesn't seem like a feasible idea. I don't want to be a fucking soaking wet fucking hypothermia mailman. I'd rather just layer up and fucking, um, <clears throat> drink a bunch of, Bud Light Lime, like I said, I'm going to do a six-pack so I don't fucking die of alcohol poisoning while sitting in the fucking stands. Um, and we're going to have to fucking <clears throat> pack my mother's vehicle because she's kind enough to uh, drive us to this occasion she's going to. And um, she's got a normal five seats in her vehicle, but there's also a trunk. So maybe someone will have to sit in the trunk. I know I'm sitting in shotgun. and um, Or maybe they could lap it up. But it'll, it'll just have to be four of them back there. So it'll be fine. But either way, worried about the friends getting up early. I obviously have no problem getting up early. That's my forte, my favorite. I'm a loser. I'm a fucking loser. Um, but yeah, that's going to be really exciting. So I'm going to get drunk in the morning. Hopefully I'll stop drinking by noon. <clears throat> Go into the game at 1. Probably won't buy a beer in there. Learn my lesson at Yankee Stadium. And then, I don't know. Well, because they say like every alcoholic beverage takes an hour to process. So if I drink 6, 6 hours from fucking 12 o'clock, 6 p.m., Definitely be home by then, asleep, hopefully. And then I got fucking work. To, God damn it, that sucks. I really got fucked this weekend. I was working on a Saturday. That's the prime day. I lost my Friday night because I got fucking work on Saturday. And then tomorrow's already Sunday, so my weekend's over. So no fun for old Kyle except getting a blackout drunk at the Bills Stadium, which should be pretty fun. Granite, all the bullshit. Um, all the bullshit aside, I should have a good time because I'll be with my friends and we're going to get all rowdy. Um, definitely going to have to eat a nice hearty breakfast and drink some fucking water because, um, then that will just, uh, spell disaster for me. But <clears throat> either way, I'm excited. I'm going to be fucking miserable as fuck at work on Monday. I already know that that's going to be the case. Um, I saw my plug today, fucking Paul the Mailman, who hooked me up with his goddamn work uniform and fucking hat so I can impersonate a fucking mail officer. And um, he's like, yeah, did you try it on yet and all that shit? And I'm like, no. Nah. <clears throat> Knowing that I didn't, I was like, yeah, I tried it on. It fits like a glove, but he's... Like, 
he's pretty chubby. He's like my height, but chubby. He's like, no, I know it doesn't fucking fit you well. You got to fucking. I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna have to tuck it in, I guess. So he kind of caught me in my uh, caught me in my lie there, Mister Paul. But either way, um, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm excited. Maybe I'll fucking cosplay, role play, and fucking try it on right now. Maybe go test it out, go go on some routes and fucking deliver some mail to the good people at Niagara Falls, give them their uh, papers and papets. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. Either way, it's not really going to end good. Um, I need to bring, like, a pack of water. I need to drink all the alcohol. And then I need to bring a pack of water to drink before I go into the game. That would be a solid game plan because, I don't know, I just feel like everything there would be super expensive. But either way, doesn't matter. But like I said, work on Monday is going to be horrible. I know I'm going to be at least, at, at, the, at best, I will be mildly hungover at work tomorrow. And if the stars fucking align, I might just have to drink a beer before I go into work because it might be one of those days. And God forbid I keep drinking after the fucking Bills game because that would be a fucking absolute, absolute nightmare. I would probably have to call into work on fucking... <laughs> probably have to call into work on Monday and that would be my fucking... Gay cousin's uh, first day back to work after vacation, so he'd have to stay from work after he just worked fucking 11 to 7 a.m. Then my fat ass calling in. But, um, no, I don't think that'll happen. I'll, I'm going to try and be good, but it's like, how are you not going to drink like a fucking maniac at a Bills game? That's just a, a rite of, rite of passage at this point. That's what everybody does so that's what i will do because i'm a follower of the pack and that's just seems like something that would be very fun and i fucking missed out on having fun last night my friends went out to lewiston christian went out to lewiston he probably had a fucking hoot and a half um i'm very curious as to what happens maybe i'll shoot him a call and maybe we could do a podcast and talk about it but yeah they were all hanging out and then they went out to lewiston sounds like a fucking uh, shit ton of fun i would love to be there but i feel like the last any of the last times me and my friends plan to go out anywhere at the pregame i would just get fucking blackout drunk and be like ready to go home by fucking 8 p.m because I wake up at 5 a.m. for work, and then, like, I'm already super tired. I get to work at 3, and then I hang out, and then we're drinking, and then makes sense. I mean, ready to go to bed by fucking 8 p.m. Because I nor any normal work night, I'm in bed by fucking 6 p.m., which is great because I'm a pussy. I'm transformed into a grandma. I've transformed into... My grandma that's uh, slowly dying of dementia. I'm going to get dementia too. Um, my uh, my um, my fall is imminent. I'm, uh, um, I don't know. But overall, my feelings for tomorrow for the Bills game are excite excitement. I've got something to look forward to here. And... Um, gonna be it's kind of a double wham double double whammy it's gonna be an early morning got something to look forward to i'm gonna be fucking recklessly drinking with my friends which is always a recipe for good and uh bad times um and um speaking of drinking though one of my freaking co-workers good good gal friend of mine asking about she's like my age and asking about like bars to go to and shit so i'm like yeah there's a um well where'd she say she went to 
she said, oh, we were talking about the wagon wheel on the boulevard. And she was like, yeah, I was thinking about going there sometime. And uh, I was like, I've never been there. And I think it's mostly just like a shitty biker bar, which nothing against that, but it doesn't seem like the younger, young crowd. So I put her onto the Buff Ave fucking scumbag starter pack. Um, it's like, okay, go to Wilbur's in the fucking summer when they got the patio open, but watch out for fucking people doing blow on the back deck. And then go to Foley's when you want to fucking see a bunch of 60-year-old alcoholics uh, crying at the bar. And then go to 87 Buff when you want to see fucking um, peaked in high school drug dealers with uh, true religion jeans on and white puffer coats getting their ass beat by a fucking 19-year-old Puerto Rican kid. Um, So I think that they're... uh, no, but if I had to recommend one, hate to say it, it'd probably have to be 87 Buff. Um, just because it's uh, it's probably the most... The other two are just very sad, Wilbur's and Foley's. And um, 87 Buff is probably the easiest on the eyes, the easiest to stomach out of the three. But So, uh, looks like that's my time here, folks. It is... The 3rd of November, um, go out there and, um, get some, get some people pregnant.